Oh yeah, a different world. I wrote five episodes in notebook, paper, and pencil, putting Dwayne and Whitley back together because I feel like someone in the universe needed to fix the problem. And so for me, even at 13, I was like, I want to learn how to do that to other people. Having such an active, hands-on you know, role in like crafting the storylines for the season, being on the front line of creating stories that are representative at the HBCU community, and then just being able to create a really great environment for our writers and for our crew and for our staff, because I think we really feel like the show that we're doing is important, has something to say. You know, our prop master, like the thing he said about working with me and NK is that we might write a certain prop in the script, but we're open to other ideas, because I feel like a great idea can come from anyone, anywhere, at any time. Everyone has the opportunity to contribute, um, especially in the writer's room. I think there's such a mystification of the writer's room, whereas like, you know, our show and All American as well, is open and we love teaching and inspiring and mentoring. One of our writers, Holly, heard the question she always asks, like, what's the character's drive? And so that's one of the things that we look for. What does the character want? And are we putting them on a path that with every scene, every beat of the story, they're in position to getting closer and closer to what they want? So that's one thing that, especially in our room, um, we look for, like, what is the character's drive? What is the pacing? And really momentum because every scene should draft off what came before, especially in like, you know, YA kind of soapy shows that aren't plot heavy, but they're emotional driven. Gosh, something I've learned about myself. I like to think things to be kind of perfect and tip top and tight. The thing I had to learn is that it's okay to not know what you don't know. Um, especially coming into co-show running this year, that there's a learning curve and that there are things that I'm gonna come into the job knowing, and I did, and there was things that I learned. I had to have, learn how to have grace with myself for the things that I didn't know, because at some point, everyone was new to the job. Oh yeah, a different world. It meant so much to me and to my friends and just to the culture. Like I wrote spec scripts of a different world when I was in the eighth grade because they broke up Dwayne and Whitley in the fifth season and I was mad, I was hot. I was just like, they made a mistake. Who do the writers think they are? So I wrote five episodes in notebook, paper and pencil, putting Dwayne and Whitley back together because I feel like someone in the universe needed to fix the problem. And so for me, even at 13, I was like, I want to learn how to do that to other people. And, and make them enthralled by something and give them that respite from their lives and, and teach something in a way that's not heavy handed. Identify what your voice is as a writer. Even though you might work on different shows, you kind of will bring the same thing to the table because of who you are as a writer. Start to really identify what you like to write, what you like to watch, and to give yourself patience as you try to figure out what your voice is and who you are as a writer, because that will impact you know, the work that you do.